Hey guys, it's Kylie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do another eyeshadow look. I don't know if it's gonna be like tutorially, like a mixture of tutorially and just get ready with me talking chit chatting. First of all, do you like my jacket? Oh my gosh, I've wanted a jean jacket for so long, but I'm very picky about them because it, it just has to be the right wash and the right type. And I finally found one that I love and I got it actually at Marshalls. It is a Lucky brand and I think the tag on it that like the retail price is $99 but I got it for I think $25 I want to say so it is super cute and I'm so happy the look we're going for today I want to kind of try to match my shirt I love yellow mustard shades so that is what we're going to go for only yellow mustardy shades that I have are in my Jaclyn Hill palette so I have the Armed and Gorgeous palette, and I also have the Jaclyn Hill Original, which only has one yellow shade in it. Now, a lot of people have these Jaclyn Hill palettes and do not like them, and my, my blue one and the green one, I think, is where I had the problems, but this one, I didn't really have issues with, but I mostly just used the yellow and the like these shades. I want to go through these, figure out what shades I really like, depot the whole thing and put them in its own little Z palette and then like put the bad ones in their own separate palette, you know, just work with the good ones because there are some really good shades in these. The original Jaclyn Hill palette, I still love that. I think it's fantastic. All right, let's start out with a handy M441 blending brush. Actually, I am going to also use my Huda Nude palette. Let's use three palettes for one look. The shade Play in here, that is the perfect lay down shade for me, a crease shade. Like it obviously it gives it a little bit of a tint to it, but it's great. I don't think I think I set my eyes like I normally do either, so hopefully it still works out. Why do I always look at that mirror? I've got a mirror in my hand. Why do I do that? Then go into these two shades, Silk Cream and MFEO. These two shades here. This one, we are just going to go in and deepen it up. Also, look at this highlight. This is the what the Watts Up Cream Stick Highlighter. Gosh, I just love it so much. I just like kind of wipe my beauty blender on it and then pounce it on. I mean, you can dab it on with your finger too, but I think the beauty one blender works really, really well. I don't know what it is about mixing these shades because I mean, you could just use one or the other and be perfectly fine, but I love to mix the two. I don't know. I think this will forever be one of my favorite palettes. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Pooter on my M44, M433. Interesting fact. Pooter, Pooter, is uh, my cousin's dog name. Cousin's dog's name? Cousin dog name. Cousin's dog's name. It's my cousin's dog's name, okay? I am just going to stick this in the outer corner. I'm not going to bring that in the crease or anything really, just, just on the outside. Okay, I am now going to go in with the Armed and Gorgeous palette and dip into the shade Access with my M167 and we're just going to plop that all over the lid. I'm starting towards the inner corner. The mustard shade in the original Jaclyn Hill palette is a little, a little more mustardy. I guess but it's got a little bit more orange tinge to it this one is a little more bright so I want this one to be mainly in the inner corner and then I am going to go in more with the center with the darker one just to create a little bit more dimension it's like 75 degrees out it is the first time I feel like that it's been nice out around here it was nice for a couple days a while ago and then it like got down to the 30s and, and stuff again and was freezing. Gotta love that Iowa weather. And then it was rainy and now we finally got 75 degree weather and I'm wearing a jean jacket. This yellow shirt underneath is a tank top so I'll just take the jacket off. I just wanted to wear it in the video because I thought it was cute. I'm gonna use the same packing brush and dipping into creamsicle here and then I'm gonna foc the, focus this in the middle. Wow I feel like that's I mean, obviously, they're very close in color. Why does that one look lighter? No, no, it's not lighter. I mean, they basically look like the same thing. I mean, can can you see a difference? Because 
Uh, I can't. Which is fine. I like them both. I just thought there was gonna be a little more of a difference because looking at them in the pan, they definitely look different. Okay. <laughs> Sticking with the same brush, right? We're gonna stick with the same brush? Yeah, we're gonna stick with the same brush and then go into the shade Guilt Trip, the shimmer, shimmery golden yellow shade and plop that in the inner corner. I might need to spray it. Putting shimmers on top of matte shades typically don't work out very well. Put a little bit on the brush, spray it with some Mac Fix Plus, but this is actually water. Oh yeah, Ugh, that's pretty, so pretty. I could have done like a halo eye, that would have been really pretty. Another day. So apparently Jaclyn Hill, her makeup line is going to be launching pretty soon. I thought she had mentioned at the end of this month, which it's May, that she would be launching it sometime the end of this month, or sometime this month anyways, but no word yet. I, for one, am not going to be jumping for it right away because like with these palettes, uh, as soon as they came into Ulta, I purchased them. I was just, I was very excited. I like to support people who I really like. And I definitely think I just jumped on the bandwagon. Now that I have my own YouTube channel, maybe it is beneficial for me to get them first so I can let you guys know because, you know, that's how it works. I just don't think I want to jump on the bandwagon right away. I Unless it's something, like, really cool and different or it just, you know, it it gets me and I, and I feel like we'd get along real well, you know, if, if it's that type of makeup product. Let me know your thoughts. Will you be jumping for it? And I think thought I saw somewhere too that it was a lipstick so if it's just lipsticks I mean I guess we'll see I don't think I'll jump for joy over just lipsticks I still really want to try Jeffree Star lipsticks I've heard such good things about them I just need to do it I just need to get on board I'm going back in with the pewter shade and I'm gonna try to deepen up the crease just a little bit more without ruining everything I just did with the yellow I'm using what two shades are these? The two blending shades that I put in the crease and I'm just gonna also place those under the lash line. I do, the only thing I don't like about this palette is the fact that the names are not near the eyeshadow. Like you have to lift it up and look on the back to see what the shades are, which if it's your own palette and you're not doing videos, it's not a big deal. But I always like to know what shades I'm using because when you talk about it with a friend or something and you're trying to explain the shade, if you just knew the shade name, it'd be easier. But if you have to constantly flip it back and forth, it's just annoying. First world problems, you know. Then I'm going to use a flat definer brush and I'm going to go in with this dark shade Prowl. And I'm just going to stamp that next to my lash line. I'm not sure at what point this stopped recording, but my card got full, so it stopped recording. And then I started fidgeting around with my eye look while it was I was waiting for the videos to upload, and I fucked up my look. Can I say the F word? I guess it's my channel, so I get to decide. Next step I'm going to do is take this Stila Liquid Glitter and Glow Eyeshadow, if this is the shade Smoldering Satin, and I'm going to use this... It's actually a paintbrush. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby, but all it is is it's like an angled eyeliner brush. This is called the Angle Spot Detailer by Princeton. I got it at Hobby Lobby and I probably used one of those 40% off cards. So I'm gonna use this and then just brush off some product from the stick and I'm gonna do kind of like, I'm just gonna put this in the crease. I definitely think I should go out and purchase these in like every color. I think they're like $25 or 21, 20 something dollars though. So they're quite pricey, but I have had them for quite a while. So they last. I mean, it's not every day that I do a super, you know, glittery look though. So that is also why they last. Can you see what I'm doing here? Can you see? We zoom in more. I feel like we're really close and personal when I zoom in this close and it's, is it as uncomfortable for you as it is for me? Who knows? What YouTubers 
Whoa, I screwed up on that one. What tuber, tuber YouTubers you like to watch that aren't beauty related? And I just remembered another one that I watch is Graveyard Girl. Does anybody else watch her? I started watching her years ago. She did a beauty collaboration or like a, a makeup palette collab with Tarte. And she is the first person that I ever bought a like collab palette from because I just, I loved her so much. And back then, that stuff did not happen very often. That's when like the collaborations first started and it was like a super exciting thing back then. I mean, it's super exciting still. So I ended up getting it. It's actually right here. It's the Swamp Queen palette. Does anybody else have this? It is really pretty. The best thing I like about it though is the mirror. The mirror on this is like, holy shit balls. I love it. Maybe if I was using a mirror like this, instead of my mirror that's really far away, maybe I wouldn't have messed up as bad as I did, but maybe not. Anyways, I got this palette and actually, like the colors are pretty and everything, and I was very hesitant about getting it in the first place because, I mean, it was expensive. It wasn't something like super exciting, but it was also when I first started getting palettes. I don't know if all Tarte eyeshadows are like this, but it just seems very chalky. And I think everybody, everybody on YouTube gave it such a good, good review. And I think, again, that's because it was, you know, collaborations were first starting, so everybody wanted to be super supportive. And so I, I was kind of let down. So I have not used it for a very long time. Maybe I should use it again because I might like it. I don't know. Who knows? Don't know until you try it. And since it's been so long, maybe I'll like it now because I have gotten better with eyeshadow, except uh, today, clearly, it is not working for me. I'm going to try this. Can I put this on my waterline? This is by Nude Sticks. It's a copper foil magnetic luminous eye color. And it's very pretty, but can I use that on my waterline? Let's try if it hurts. We'll, we'll just see. I mean, it worked and it's not burning, so that's a good sign. Obviously, I think it's prettier as an eyeshadow because that's what it's meant for. It didn't do a whole lot, but she works. Let's apply some mascara. Oh, I fucking hate this mascara. Why do I keep using it? Why, 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 why? Go buy a new mascara. I think I just broke my eye. Oh. And it's right there. Ah! Get off, 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 get off. Here's the look for the eye channel. Do you like it? I think it turned out not terrible, but not good. So that's cool. I'm going to do my lips quick. This is Spice by Laura Geller. I need to go repurchase my favorite lip liner. It's Subculture by MAC love it so much don't know where it's at i've lost it about a million times we're going in with who is this by is this i think it's anastasia beverly hills but everything is wiped off but i feel like this packaging looks like the abh it's in the color strip yeah that's abh it's not stila because it does not smell like cupcakes I was gonna tell you something and I forgot, so I'm just gonna sit here. No, it's, it's not coming back to me. Nope, nope, I can't remember. So anyways, I guess. This completes the look for today. If you like this or if you like this style of video, like the get ready with me slash tutorial type things, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and um, put some topics in the, the comments below too so then when we're doing this stuff i have some things to chit chat to you about while i'm doing my makeup okay anyways thank you so so much for watching we will see you in the next one okay bye pop the color